Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today, I'm going to be trying something from none other than the little Caesar himself. Now, this pizza cost me $9.99 plus tax. I can't think it came up to around 11 and change after taxes and whatnot. But this is a new thing they have called the Old World Fanceroni pepperoni that's right another terribly named thing from little caesars i mean they got the deep deep dish that's fine back in the day they had pizza pizza but now they want these stupid things like extra most bestest and now fanceroni pepperoni so what is so fancy about this pepperoni let's find out this pepperoni is supposed to be old world style pepperoni and it's supposed to create cups pepperoni cups and when I opened this before just to take a peek at it it didn't look very fancy to me it looks like pepperoni pizza that I've ordered from Little Caesars before um, I guess this one is a little bit cuppy but like there's some of them that are like this one that's not a cup it just looks like a flat pepperoni do they mix and match them I mean, the one that did cup has that crispy crunchy texture that i like i'm looking at the picture right now I'm looking at what I have, and they don't look like they're the same thing. The texture almost looks like a pan style, where the cheese and toppings are to the edge. When I look at this pizza, there's a clear crust section. There, I don't see a flat pepperoni. They're all cups. They're all facing upwards. And this kind of looks like a mess. So visually disappointed. But I'm even more disappointed at the quality of service that I received at this uh, Little Caesars. And this is a Little Caesars that is on, I think it's like the 20, 2500 block maybe of Cermak in Chicago, Illinois. It's right by a laundromat. And it, Cross from both a Pete's Fresh Market and a Walmart uh, neighborhood market. I've been to this one before, it's the closest one to me. And the last time I got pizza from there, I had somewhat of an issue like this, but today it was overly exaggerated. And I'll tell you what happened. So I believe either because of pandemic protocols or maybe because they have um, not enough workers there which I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for there for that they have a sign that says drive through only and they have a place to walk in to pick up to order um, as far as I remember they used to have one of those pizza portals inside where you can walk in press the button the door opens you get your pizza but you can't go in to the pizza portal it says drive through only it says we're open drive through only the drive-thru doesn't have like a a talk box. It doesn't have like something you drive over that alerts them to people are there. There's only one window. It is the pickup window. So the last time I went, um, I was the only car there. So I drove over the pickup window. It took too long for someone to notice that I was there. I tapped on the window. There's no button to press. It was still like I just had to wait till someone randomly walked by and saw. This time, there were two cars in front of me, and it seemed like I had to wait for them to make each one a fresh pizza. I had pre-ordered mine online. I have an email confirmation that says your pizza is ready to be picked up, um, and it pretty much coincided with the time that I showed up at the drive-through uh, area. So, 
wait for the first car, finally goes, wait for the second car. This seems like what happened with the second car is like they thought it took too long, so they drove up and parked and maybe tried to get someone's attention from the inside. Then I saw some people on the sidewalk walk over and go inside as well. Like, why do you have the drive through only sign on if you're allowing people to come in? Because I could have came in. So like, well, I'm already here at the window now. It shouldn't be too long. My pizza's already done. You just got to hand it to me. It took, I want to say 15 minutes from the time that I was at the window till someone actually opened the window. At one point, I think it was 10 minutes in, someone walked by and said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and they kept walking. Why don't you say, are you, make, are you here to make an order or do you have an order to pick up? Because the simplest thing, the pizza's already done, it's in a box, it's sitting in one of those heat lamps. Simplest thing is to hand off a pizza to someone. Everyone moves up a little bit, everyone's a little more happy, waiting to either pick up or make an order. Hopefully everyone's already made an order like I did. Anyway. Finally, open up the windows like, okay, I made an online order. My name is this. He's like, okay. Uh, and then he says, my last time, I'm like, yep, that's it. And he's like, can I get the digit, the three digit code? I read it off to him from my email. He gives me the pizza and I on my way home. But from start to finish, me arriving, waiting, to being handed off the pizza was more than 30 minutes. And I had gotten an email saying my pizza was ready to be picked up. So that means this pizza has been under the heat lamp for an additional 30 minutes that it did not need to be. I read the email saying this is how long it was going to take and knew how long it took me to get there match those numbers up so that I would arrive precisely at the time and I did but thanks to your uh, lack of organization I had to sit probably 10 feet away from where my pizza actually was and wait for you to open a window and hand me a pizza not acceptable anyway let's try this disappointing pizza What's the next stupid name they're going to name a pizza? Okay, here we go. There's a slice, C, pepperoni, cups. So, I like the spice, I like the crunch. Overall, these bowl pepperonis are great. They're a pleasant addition to this pizza. Is it a, I think their hot and raise are $6 now. This is $9.99. Is it a huge heck of a difference to add almost $4 to get these pepperonis than regular pepperonis? I don't know about that. I do like them. 
They have a nice amount of spice to them. They are crunchy. But everything else is the same pizza. All you changed was the pepperoni. And it's $4 extra. It's not more pepperoni. It's just a different pepperoni. That being said, $9.99 for this pepperoni is still a great deal. Uh, just comparison to their other prices, it just doesn't seem like it should cost $4 extra. You have the same cheese. You have some the crust and same sauce. And you made me wait 30 minutes for a pizza that was already cooked. So overall experience, not good. This pizza though, it tastes pretty good. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be as spicy as the pepperoni is, but it's a good thing I like spice. Is it fancy? Not in the least. Um, I've had fancy pizza before, and it didn't look like this. So, bad name, not a great description, because fanceroni makes it sound like it's fancy, and Cut pepperoni, I don't think it's fancy. Bad, uh, excuse me, drive through experience. The price hike for the regular, a lot of negatives. One positive, it tastes pretty good. It's crunchy and spicy. I gotta give it that. At the end of the day, you gotta be truthful. The truth is, it tastes pretty good. And anyway, I got an extra thing for you right now. It is. The Warhead Blue Raspberry Sour. So I was going to add these on as little bonuses at the end of other reviews. So here we go. I'm going to start off by getting a base and testing what the Blue Raspberry Candy tastes like. sours off the head. Blue raspberry is always a good flavor. Even after the shower is gone, the blue raspberry flavor itself is very identifiable. It's a pretty strong flavor and I like it. Blue raspberries I don't think are actually a real thing. This one has malic acid as a sour agent. Um, remember lemon was the only one so far that had citric acid and lemon was the only one so far that I didn't care for. So go ahead and try sour blue raspberry soda warheads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can taste the candy, but uh, I'm still holding my mouth. And the blue raspberry soda. Which has a good tartness to it. When I taste that, the blue raspberry flavor is almost a identical match for what I already have in my mouth. And the the sourness of that kind of makes the the candy that's left over the mouth tastes more sweet. I don't know how to explain more of that, but it's good. It's the best uh, flavor match from soda flavor to candy flavor. So far, if you strike out the lemon one, everything else has been delicious. Some that haven't really matched in flavor, but both have been good um, to some degree. This one, identical match, both taste good. I like it. Anyway, that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. The Little Caesars Fance Aroni Pep Aroni which doesn't look anything like the picture online that I got. It took me too long to pick up, even though it was already ready. 
and for some reason cost four dollars more just because of a change in pepperoni though the pepperonis are good anyway that's it for the review hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more reviews and more uh, rants anytime I get a disappointing experience see you later bye